A pleasant day everyone! I am John Benedict Sirius of EN13NS from College of Engineering Department. I would like to share my opinions, insights, or how I critic a certain artwork. Description The Spolarium is created by a well-known Filipino artist and it was submitted by Juan Luna to the Exposición Nacional de Bellas Artes in 1884 in Madrid, Spain, where it won its first gold medal, Juan Luna gained great popularity among the Filipinos because of his painting, with dimension of 4.22 meters and 7.675 meters, and we can see in the middle of Luna's painting are the fallen gladiators, pulled by the Roman soldiers, and it will be thrown or fed to the wild beasts. And we can see on the left, the spectators are waiting for their chance to strip the warriors of their metal helmets and other weapons. In contrast to the church emotion featured on the left, the right side presents an intense feeling. An old man carrying a torch is probably looking for his sign, while a woman is crying over the death of her loved one. It also shows an event in the past in Rome, where the bloody bodies of gladiators thrown as slaves were mercilessly dragged by men from the best and powerful arena to a corner to be thrown and feed to white animals from Africa. And people in left side was screaming for blood, while on the right side is a woman is bent over and seems sad. This painting was given dead by Spain to us, and we will see it hanging in the main gallery on the ground floor of the National Museum of Fine Arts in Manila, and it is the first work of art are you see upon entering the museum. Analysis In the painting, we will see that it is full of sorrow and rich in the history of the place, and we will also notice about the painting are the color being used. Often, the artist used warm colors for his artwork, with red being a central color that attract more attention, like the personal experience of others. The colors are striking and unique, and this spolarium represents a tragic event, but it also shows a deeper meaning, especially for Filipinos during the Spanish colonization. According to some art experts, the fallen gladiators who were dragged into the painting were the Filipinos people because we were just slaves of the Spaniards. What the men dragged to them is the people who colonized our country and the ones who cried we called say our motherland. Interpretation This reflects the personality of Juan Luna and the Filipinos because it is said to prove during the colonial period in the Philippines that the Filipinos knew about art and to change the view of other races on us because at that time, they thought of the Filipino was an unaware of the worth of art. And one known as Scolario gave you the opportunity to tell the world that painting is not just art of having a variety of colors but it is associated with history and it evokes freedom and self-respect. Evaluation What Juan Luna does with his stunning and famous masterpiece called his Polarium at the age of 24 is really impressive. He can be said to be a treasure of a country and it has perfectly shown what it takes to be a famous artist throughout the world and his artwork have done more than expected. The works of both Spanish Italian painting during his time. When he was abroad in Europe, he was able to incorporate the classical works of other people to dazzle the Spolarium as the freedom of his fellow Filipinos. And you'll be really impressed with his successful discovery of the historical beauty and importance of his creativity. On a large canvas measuring 4 and 7 meters, unexpectedly much from this piece of historical interest. It became an immediate and overnight sensation for the Filipino people in times of political uncertainty 
and slavery of Spanish. Thank <laughs> you.